Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Now, some showers and thunder showers this morning, nothing all that strong. And then the rest of the day turned out to be pretty nice. So it was only our second very humid day of the year. And that's setting us up for one of the warmest nights of the year uh, tonight. But temperature wise, it wasn't all that warm this afternoon. Matter of fact, not as hot as yesterday. 84 was the high, pretty close to the normal high of 83. But that high humidity makes all the difference. And that kept our morning low at 69 and will likely be even warmer than that for tonight. Highs today were generally 80 to 85. There was one 86 over there in the Carmi area and we should be again in the low to mid 80s tomorrow which will be borderline very humid also once again. But live Doppler radar is still clear. Nothing popped this evening. There are some showers down in West Tennessee that may wander in here overnight. You can see the wave that came through this morning was heaviest in our southeastern counties where a few locations in McLean and Ohio counties picked up about an inch of rain, but in Evansville officially just 13 one hundredths of an inch. You can see the day playing out here with a little sun as the sun rose and that band of showers with a little thunder rolled on through giving way to some sunshine this afternoon and that higher humidity and temperatures in the lower 80s. And now we got a warm night underway at the top of the hour. We're still 76 degrees. The dew point though is close behind at 72. And remember, the temperature can't go below the dew point, although the dew point could fall a little bit, but we're looking at lows in the low 70s overnight. So we're in the mid 70s right now. We're not going to drop that much more. But once the front comes through tomorrow night, that's going to get rid of all this humidity and really allow temperatures to cool again during the nighttime hours. But you can see a few showers and thunder showers down here in West Tennessee. Those are moving to the northeast. So a few of these will at least wander into western Kentucky overnight. And then we'll get the leftovers from these thunderstorms moving into western Missouri, those will arrive more than likely later tomorrow morning. So let's update the timing here with a new future tracker showing a few of those showers moving into western Kentucky overnight. Not a lot of rain at 7 a.m., but more clouds than sun. And we'll have probably some scattered showers around in the morning, maybe a rumble of thunder. Same for the lunch hour as the sun begins to break on out. And then the cold front will set up a new line of thunderstorms in the afternoon at 4 p.m., you can see it draped north of I-64 back into southern Illinois. Right now, we are not outlooked for any severe weather. They got the marginal risk to the northeast of our viewing area, but I wouldn't be surprised if they extend a marginal level one threat, maybe into our northeastern counties for a little bit of damaging wind. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how things play out. It really depends on how much sun we see tomorrow, but highs will be in the lower to mid 80s once again, and it will be a borderline very humid day, a lot like it was today. Now that line sinks to the south and is down in our southern counties by 8 p.m. So Evansville will likely be done with any rain by about seven in the evening. And then shortly after sunset, all these showers are out of here. Humidity begins to fall, but the temperatures will still be in the low to mid 80s on Thursday. A second dry front comes through. That will knock the temperatures down for Friday, making that the pick day of the week. Highs around 80 and even lower humidity levels before things maybe get a little unsettled over the weekend. So overnight, just a few showers and thunder showers, better chances down to the south. Warm lows, though, in the lower 70s. Some sun tomorrow, some scattered showers and thunder showers, breezy, humid highs of 79 to 84. Humidity is off the board starting Thursday. 85, we're down to 80 on Friday, so beautiful Thursday, Friday. Some uncertainty on the weekend. Rain chances at 25 to 30 percent. A couple models try to throw some storms our way. Others are totally dry. Fingers crossed it'll be pretty nice. Temperature-wise, it will be. Highs around 80. And even early next week, high temperatures continue to hold around the 80-degree mark. All right. Thank you, Wayne. And